All right, so we got uh, Coach Steve here. We're going to help us out doing a partner drill or a partner game. Um, fun if you've got two younger kids who train or if you, um, as an adult, want to train with your child. Um, big brothers work really well with this, too. Um, we're going over what we call bulldozer. Um, so this, this simulates how to maintain top position on somebody who doesn't want to be stuck beneath you in the mounted position. So what I'm going to have is uh, Coach Steve on his back, um, head facing that way. Good. And then Audrey is going to take the mount position, which means knees, knees on either side of his belly, um, kind of pinching in, hands up, ready to move, ready to fight, or if we're trying to control, very, very low. So show him kind of what a low mount looks like, too. Um, belly down. Superman mount. Good. Yeah. Cool. Either of these positions work. So what typically ends up happening is um, the person on bottom is going to want to roll or going to want to get you off of them. Um, and if you don't do anything about it, it's going to work. So show them what happens when nothing's done. So, boom, we just kind of transition over into the guard position. No bueno. We have moves for this. Okay? Uh, see if you're going to want to come back a little bit. Good. So, what's going to happen? Steve is going to begin rolling to one side. Okay? Audrey, keeping her hands on uh, Coach Steve, is then going to pick up the leg he's rolling towards. Boom. This keeps her leg from being trapped underneath him and allows her mobility to move. So she's just going to kind of let him roll, trailing this knee along with him, using her hands to push him around. Freeze. Once we come to a lull, we resume out. Boom, boom, boom. He comes back the other way. Now, another place where you can stop doing this drill and practice controlling is the back mount position. So, Steve begins rolling away from me. She picks up that leg, trails him around, and squishes him right here. Very, very good. I prefer this to the mount position because the opponent on bottom has no hands in which to defend himself, and you have all of your limbs and you're controlling the person on bottom. Um, if you are in our older kids' curriculum and you've been here for a little bit, um, there is an interim position called technical mount that we practice. So let's show him what that looks like. He gets on his side and we trap him right here. Let's move uh, counterclockwise. Roll towards the camera. Roll towards the camera, Steve. And switch. Yes, boom. We trap him right here. You can get key locks in this position, like a Kimura grip. Reaching in, we can control him here. And this is a really good position to practice, okay? So let's just go away from the camera now. Start rolling toward, away from the camera. Audrey moves. You can stop in that position. You can stop in the back mount position. Or you can stop in the full mount position. Come back again so they get to their angle. Technical mount. Boom. Back mount. Full mount. And that's Bulldozer.